Hello everyone. In this video, we will be seeing how to get started with TCS changes in budget 2020 in Tally ERP 9. Setting up TCS in Tally ERP 9 is very simple three step process. So we'll see what are the things we need to do. The first step is to enable TCS for the company. Step 2 is to create TCS nature. Step 3 is master configuration. In master configuration, we will be setting up TCS in below master types. The first one being party master. Setting up TCS for party whose total receipts have crossed threshold limit. Setting up stock item masters for TCS. Configuring sales ledger. And last, setting up TCS duty ledger. So these are the simple three steps that you need to do to get started with TCS changes in budget 2020 in Tally ERP 9. Now let us see how to do this in Tally. So I have loaded one of the company in which I want to enable TCS now. So the first step is to go to F11 statutory and taxation and enable TCS. So enable tax collected at source should be set to yes and set or alter TCS details. The company's TCS collector details should be provided. So we are completed with step 1. My company is now enabled for TCS. Step 2 is creating TCS nature. To create TCS nature, we go to accounts info, statutory info, TCS nature of goods and create. So name is sale of goods and section. So need to mention the section under which this is applicable. As these changes are applicable from 1st October, we will define it from 1st October. So define a date so we can go to Alt L details. So press Alt L from the screen. Specify the applicable date 1st October 2020 and mention the section code. The section code is 206C and the payment code is yet to be notified by the department. So as of now, we will leave this field blank. Rate of TCS with PAN is 0.075% for sale of goods and without PAN is 1%. And similarly for other collective types also is 0.075% and with PAN it is 1%. So now the TCS nature of goods is created and we can save this. Similarly you can create TCS nature of goods for other nature of goods which is applicable. So I save this. The nature of goods is created. So next step is master configuration. For master configurations, I go to accounts info, ledgers. So I already have certain masters with me. So I'm going to alter and I will be enabling TCS in the masters wherever it is applicable. So for Mr. Krishna is one of my debtors to whom the threshold limit is crossed 50 lakhs. So I go here and I make this option is TCS applicable to yes and I select the collective types. One important thing to note here is PAN number. When creating party master for TCS, the percentage of tax varies based on furnishing or not furnishing the PAN number. Hence, provide the PAN number wherever available. So the next master configuration is in my sales ledger. I need to enable this sales ledger for TCS. So I go here, is TCS applicable? I make this as applicable and nature of goods, I select it as sale of goods. And my last master is my TCS duty master. So I go to ledgers, create. TCS. Under duties and taxes, type of duty tax, TCS and nature of goods, I can either put it under any if I want to have a common ledger for all the nature of goods, contracts, license or lease or if I want to have specifically for sale of goods, I can select the nature of goods here. 
The last master configuration is my stock item master. If TCS is applied on the item, go to item, stock items, alter, select the stock item and make this TCS applicable to applicable and nature of goods, select the respective nature of goods. And this is applicable from 1st October 2020. So we are done with the master configuration and this company is now ready for TCS transaction. In the next video, we will see how to record transactions with TCS. Thank you for watching this video.